games that are being talked about besides the title fight that's already booked. So, um, yeah, I mean, me and her have both been in the UFC for a while. Uh, Thing. Like I'm undefeated at 125, I think she has one loss at 125, so it makes sense that me and her would be in the talks for for the winner of uh, Valentina and Joanna. But um, but yeah, I think she's I think she's really good everywhere. She has a lot of experience. Uh, I remember when I was fighting amateur, I fought in Ohio, and she was there, and I'm like, oh wow, she fights in the UFC. That's cool, you know. And I was still amateur, and it's funny because that's when I was like. She fights at 35, but I was like, and I was fighting at 125. But I was like, probably gonna fight one day, you know. Just there's only so many girls, so you kind of all run into each other. But um, I think she's really good everywhere. I don't think she's particularly great in one area. So um, yeah. Your uh, your teammate Eddie Alvarez recently signed with One Championship. Is that is that a cool thing that there are other avenues for, for fighters outside of the UFC to you know make as much money as they can? Yeah, I mean I don't I didn't even know that that was ever po I think a lot of people didn't know that that was even possible. Um, so when they did that, I was I was pretty shocked, but in a in a good way. You know I think that's awesome. I've been following uh, one because uh, my other teammate Gary Tonin fights for there. Um, yeah, I think that's awesome. You know. And even you know, in the future, if there's going to be more of that. I think it's better for for the fighters, especially in the UFC, to have other options, and you know, more there'd be more fights. So maybe they could do like eventually, like a one-off fight. Maybe like a UFC fighter could do one fight there and instead of just completely signing to there or so any other organization. So maybe more super fights between organizations seems like it would be a cool idea. I think a lot of people were surprised by that contract. Did you go back and look at your contract and see? If you saw any sort of clause in there that mentioned the same sort of wording? Uh, no, I didn't, but maybe I should right now. <laughs> no, but um, that whole thing happened, I was like going back and forth the contracts between fighting, being the backup, maybe fighting for the title and all this stuff. So after that like week died off, I was like, all right, I need a break of the word contracts <laughs> for a minute, but yeah. Has it been uh, unfortunate to kind of see some of the fan backlash against against Sarge? She's taken a lot of heat from from the fans on social media, and she got booed yesterday at weigh-ins. It's just been a weird few weeks for her. Is that kind of unfortunate? Yeah, I mean, it is unfortunate. I think that when you know, there's so much pressure for us as fighters. It's an individual sport for you know to deal with all that from, and it's always coming. Most of the time, it's coming from people that have never even come close to experiencing anything that we do. Um, but, I mean, it's all how you take it. Like, I don't, you know, some, it bothers some people. For me, it doesn't really bother me. I find it funny, you know, and I kind of try not to entertain it, and then it doesn't escalate more. But, yeah, it's unfortunate that you have to worry about fighting, making weight, fighting, and then you also have to worry about what fans say. But without the fans, we wouldn't be here. So, it's kind of part of the business. I need your, uh, your prediction. Who wins? Nicki Minaj or Cardi B? Cardi B. Yes. Tell me what. Tell me how. Uh, Cardi B just. I feel like she's probably had a lot more experience. Than <laughs> she's probably been in a few fights, so definitely with Cardi B. You were all. You were all about this rivalry oh my when, God, when I was it first so started. Obsessed with it. But I do think I'm obsessed with uh, Ariana Grande and Pete Davidson's relationship. So. But it's over now, right? Yeah. I don't know. We'll see. It's only been a week. <laughs> You're so. holding out hope for yeah, this. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. I'm holding hope. What about predictions for tonight's weekend? Um, I'm gonna go with DC. I mean, I'm entertained by the fight. I, just, you know, I hope it's not boring. You know, I'm, I like uh, Derek Lewis, and you know, if you were to get that one punch knockout, I'd be, I'm gonna be in my, you know, in my seat cheering. I'm be super excited for that. But um, you know, I think DC's got is a higher level fighter. Cool. Thank you so much. Thanks. Thank you. Thanks, Kaylin.